Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Present Perfect Tense Part 2. This video is about another common way the Present Perfect Tense is used in American English. Now, listen to the conversation. I'm sorry, but I can't give you a promotion this month. Why not? I've worked so hard for it. Yes, you have worked hard, but you've been late six times this month. Oh yeah, you're right. I'll try harder to be on time next month. Now, let's discuss this conversation and look for the present perfect tense. So first we have the woman who says, I'm sorry, but I can't give you a promotion this month. And then the man replies, why not? I've worked so hard for it. Well, in the first sentence, the woman is discussing a promotion this month. So she is discussing something that is related directly to now, the present. Then the man replies that he has worked so hard for it. He is referring to his work during the past month, up until now. So, he uses the present perfect tense. This situation is exactly like the one I did in my last video, which was present perfect part one, where an action happened in the past and continues until the present. So if you're a little bit unsure about that, you can look at my last video here. Now let's look at the next part of the conversation and look for the present perfect tense. First. The woman says, yes, you have worked hard, but you've been late six times this month. And then the man replies, oh yeah, you're right. I'll try to be on time next month. Now, the woman is using the present perfect tense because she is referring to a number of times the man has been late. So, when we are talking about an activity that is repeated two, several, or more times before now at unspecified times in the past, we use the present perfect tense. In this particular case, the woman is emphasizing the past events when the man was late, and she's not really worried about giving specifics. Her main focus is that these things happened in the past and they are related to now. And that's why she uses the present perfect tense. Now let's summarize. So, when do we use the present perfect tense? Number one, when we are talking about a situation that started in the past and continues to the present. And we can use our first part of the conversation. When the man replied and said, why not? I've worked so hard for it. He's saying, I have worked so hard for it. Referring to, in the past, he started working, and he is working right up until now. And number two, when we are talking about an activity that is repeated, two, several, or more times before now at unspecified times in the past. And we can use the second part of our conversation to see that. In this part, the woman replied, yes, you have worked hard, but you've been late six times this month. The first part of the sentence is you have worked hard, which is the present perfect, right? Action happened in the past, up until now. And then she says, but you've been late six times this month. You have been late, you see? And she's referring to unspecified times this month in the past. And here is another example for you. Person says, have you ever been to England? And the answer is, yes, I have. I've been there several times. Actually, I was there last week. In the first part of this conversation, we have the question, have you ever been to England? And notice that it's kind of an open question, meaning there's no specifics. 
and the reply is pretty much the same the person answers yes I have I've been there several times and this is a situation where an activity has been repeated two or several or more times before now at unspecified times in the past and that's why in that part of the conversation they use the present perfect tense now look at the next sentence the person says actually I was there last week now it changes to the past tense because we're talking about a completed action that happened last week and I think you can see the difference between that sentence and the sentence before it now let's do one more example the first person says have you ever eaten California style pizza and then the reply is yes I've eaten it many times and then the first person says we ate some last night for the first time it was great we see the present perfect tense in the question in the beginning when the person asks have you ever eaten California style pizza now this is an open question it's not about a specific time it's just about have you ever meaning any time in the past related to now and then the response is yes I've eaten it many times now here's an example of when the person is talking about doing something in the past multiple times and at unspecified times and that's why they use the present perfect tense the I have eaten do you see it and then with the reply the person says we ate some last night for the first time it was great and you can see the simple past tense is here because the person is describing something that they did in the past and it's completed we ate some last night you see and also it was great all right okay that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something thanks a lot for watching and thanks for subscribing and remember what I always say keep practicing see you next time